My name is Tyler Nappi and I'm a sales engineer here at Plaid. Plaid allows your users to instantly verify accounts at their financial institution by using their online banking credentials. This results in a higher user conversion rate by removing the chance of fat fingering account and routing numbers and replacing it with information users likely know offhand, their bank username and password. This type of account verification method, called Instant Auth, supports over 90% of users' accounts. But for that remaining portion of financial institutions that don't have a strong online banking presence, say for example, small regional credit unions, we offer three more user authentication methods so that you can support 100% of your users' accounts. In this video, we'll review each of Plaid's four authentication methods, Instant Auth, Instant Match, Automated Microdeposits, and Same Day Microdeposits, what is required for the user to verify their account in each, and how to integrate these into your technology. Each authentication flow requires you to integrate Plaid Link, Plaid's front-end module, which is available on web and mobile. To use Plaid's auth product, add auth to the product's array when creating the link token via the link token create endpoint. Note that to use same-day microdeposits, only auth can be within the product's array and no other products. Also note that instant match, automated microdeposits, and same-day microdeposits are currently only available in the US, so only add that country code to the country code's array when creating the link token. Instant Auth allows users to instantly verify accounts at their financial institution by inputting their online banking username and password. Note that Plaid mimics what a user would see in their online banking portal, so we surface any multi-factor authentication or recaptures to the user as they're authenticating. When the user successfully inputs their credentials, the on-success callback within Plaid Link will return a public token in addition to metadata associated with their accounts. You'll then send this public token to your backend where you will exchange it for an access token via our token exchange endpoint. Then persist the return access token and associative item ID indefinitely in relation to the user, as you'll need these when making requests to Plaid's auth endpoint and receiving webhooks for item updates respectively. For instant auth, the access token is immediately ready to retrieve the user's auth data from their financial institution via our auth endpoint. Instant Match requires users to enter their username, password, and account and routing numbers in Plaid Link to verify their account. In the background, Plaid then matches the user input and authenticates them immediately. Upon the user inputting their information, the on-success callback within Plaid Link will return a public token in addition to metadata associated with their accounts. You'll then send this public token to your backend where you will exchange it for an access token via our token exchange endpoint. Then, persist the returned access token and associative item ID indefinitely in relation to the user, as you'll need these when making API requests to Plaid's auth endpoint and receiving webhooks for item updates respectively. For instant match, the access token is immediately ready to retrieve the user's auth data from their financial institution via our auth endpoint. For automated microdeposits, it's required to include a webhook URL within the webhook parameter when creating the link token via the link token create endpoint, which is used to notify you when the user's account has been automatically verified. For this flow, users enter their credentials, full name, and account and routing numbers in Plaid Link. The on-success callback within Plaid Link will return a public token in addition to metadata associated with their accounts. You'll then send this public token to your backend where you will exchange it for an access token via our token exchange endpoint. For this flow, the access token is not immediately ready to retrieve users' auth data, and if you try to make a request to Plaid's auth endpoint, you'll receive a product not ready error. Over the next one to two business days, Plaid will make one microdeposit into the user's account and automatically verify that deposit. When that happens, Plaid will send you a webhook notification with webhook code automatically verified, and when you receive this webhook, the access token is then ready to retrieve the user's auth data via Plaid's auth endpoint. Same day microdeposits requires users to manually input their account and routing numbers into Plaid Link. After inputting these, the on success callback will return a public token in addition to metadata associated with their accounts. You'll then send this public token to your backend where you will exchange it for an access token via our token exchange endpoint. For this flow, the access token is not immediately ready to retrieve the user's auth data, and if you try to make a request to Plaid's auth endpoint, you'll receive a product not ready error. Within one business day, Plaid will make two microdeposits into the user's account, after which they need to come back to your site or app to verify these. To do this, on your server, use that user's access token to create a new token via our link token create endpoint. Send this new token to your front end and initialize Plaid link with it within the token parameter. This will open Plaid link to the pane for the user to input and verify the two microdeposits Plaid deposited into their account. 
When successfully input, the onSuccess callback within Plaid Link will fire, and then at that time, the access token is ready to retrieve the user's auth data via Plaid's auth endpoint. Thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the customer engineering team here at Plaid.